morning everyone. Sorry it's a little bright right here on the side of my face, but um, before I get into this video about what car I like better, um, I need to go get some gas. This thing's kind of low right now, and um, yeah, so let's go get some gas, and then I'll uh, get right into this. <music> drive this car that much this week so I just got a little bit but um, anyway um, this video idea came from someone I don't know well I know who but one of you guys um, you sent me a message on Instagram um, and yeah so these cars are both in pretty comparable states right now because they both have pretty much the same stuff done um, like the Audi had intake and stuff like that and so does the speed so yeah um, we're gonna compare these cars. I'll let you know what I like better, what I don't, and I'm gonna throw pictures um, in this whole video. So there's gonna be lots of pictures and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I know there's some of you Audi A5 people still sticking around, so I appreciate that. Uh, maybe in the future I might get another one. We'll see, so who knows. Um, but for now, let's, uh, let's dive right into this. Okay, so anyway, let's start right off with the looks. The Audi very good looking car um, it had the Avance on it um, and those looked very good except they got dented multiple times I'll throw in a couple clips of that because Kansas potholes look at that shit. hopefully I can get some money from the city because that's up. look at that um, yeah so you saw those dents yeah so I would say the Audi um, like I said is just very classy looking and yeah so um, moving on to the speed the speed is obviously older um, but it still looks really good. It's uh, it looks a little lower class just because of the fact that it looks the same pretty much, pretty much as a S Mazda 6. Just saying, I have one, so I'm kind of insulting myself by saying this, but yeah, um, the speed does look way more sporty, I would say. And um, yeah, so looks wise, that's what I would say about the both of them. Um, I'll put a picture Audi, picture speed, and um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think looks better. Personally, I enjoy the speed more just because it has that sportiness, but if I were to daily drive, it would be the A5. So anyway, let's move on to performance. Okay, so performance-wise, the um, the Audi I had it was a 2.0 turbo, and um, what I had done to it, and it was a six-speed manual. So both these cars are six-speed manuals. Both of them had pretty much the same performance mods. Um, the Audi had a cold air intake CTS. It had a um, diverter valve spacer ECS, I believe, or no, that was I think that was CTS as well. And it had a, um, oh, what was it? It had a turbo muffler delete. That's what it was. So um, I'm gonna put uh, actually sound clips in of what that sounded like right here. Um, so you guys can hear that. And yeah, so that's what it sounded like. The, it sounded amazing. Um, it wasn't the quickest car. It did feel pretty quick. Um, I don't think it was anywhere near as fast as the speed even stock. Um, I could be wrong though. I never was able to actually race one head to head. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what those car. That's pretty much what the Audi had. So um, let's uh, let's talk about the speed. The speed has pretty comparable mods. We had just well, yeah. Um, I put wheels on it, add-on wheels. Um, I lowered it. I didn't. I did not get around to lowering the Audi ever. I had BC coils, but I didn't get those on before I got rid of it. So I can't really compare that aspect of it. The um, speed has what else does it have? It has a Cobb tuner, um, and yeah. So uh, I'll put a sound clip in of the, of the speed right here. Oh. I rubbed bad. 
gonna do second gear. They both have stock exhaust, so no need to compare exhaust right now, but we'll compare intake noise and stuff like that. Um, the speed definitely, in my opinion, just by feeling it, is faster than the Audi. Right now, if I had to choose one for the speed part, I would choose the Speed 6 because it is faster. Um, the Audi did sound better intake wise, so there's no question about that, at least in my opinion, because it did that flutter and it just made great noises. Okay, so moving on from that, let's move into the drivability. Um, we'll start with the Audi here. Well, I'm not in the Audi, sorry, but we'll start with the Audi. The Audi was insanely comfortable, even when it was on 20s with, I think, 30 sidewall, super thin. That thing was so smooth, even in the manual. Um, that was a great car. I really probably shouldn't have got rid of it, but whatever. You gotta move on from things, and uh, I wanted this, so yeah. But um, the Audi was super smooth. I can't imagine what it rode like with um, stock wheels on it and stock sidewall height and stuff like that. Um, and overall, it was a great daily driver. It got insanely good gas mileage. People looked at it. It honestly kind of broke necks a little bit. I think just because it had those wheels on it. And um, yeah, it was just a good looking, great driving car. That's what I have to say about it. So uh, moving on to the drivability about the speed. Um, when I first got it, it actually was really nice to drive around, but right now um, with how low it is, it's kind of a pain, which is expected. I did that, it's not the speed's fault. Um, that car was great, to, that car is great to drive around at a reasonable height and um, stock, you get great gas mileage as well. So um, that car stock does not break necks whatsoever. Um, you're not gonna get like looks unless someone knows it's the speed. You're not getting anything from that car. So yeah, um, once again, going with the Audi here for the uh, daily driver drivability s section of this video. Okay, let's move on to the interior. This is a very important part because this is where you spend most of the time um, with a vehicle is inside of it. So. The, um, this is really hard to compare because we're talking about a 2006 car versus a 2013 car. So obviously there's gonna be advancements and all that, but from the standpoint of that, I guess, the, um, if that makes sense, I don't know. The um, Audi was super simple interior, very classy. Um, but it also felt a little bit cheap, in my opinion, just the way the leathers and stuff were. It, um, and also the volume button. I think I'll ha I think I have a clip of that. If not, I'm gonna throw a picture. And look where this volume button is. You almost had to reach over and touch your passenger's thigh, and just super weird. Um, so yeah, the the Audi interior was really classy. Um, very uh, not comfortable actually. The seats were horrible. I didn't have the uh, S package. The seats. If you sat in them too long, your butt cheeks are going numb, and I and they start to hurt. So um, that actually happened on the way to Florida. We had to stop and buy pillows, and we had to put pillows on our seats. That's how bad. Um, that's how bad the seats were. And I've ridden in. I drove a BMW to uh, Florida. Friggin' butt cheeks were fine the whole way. So yeah, um, comfortable comfortability comfortability of the seats were not good. Um, but the interior was very nice, so it was a 2013, so I'm gonna try and compare this as reasonably as I can. So let's talk about the speed interior now. So the speed interior is extremely simple. Um, I'll throw in a little clip or video right here of the speed interior. So yeah, as you guys can tell, that's that's a very simple but clean interior. Honestly, it is pretty clean the way they designed it. Um, I don't have the navigation or anything, but I don't really care because it comes up the same way. So um, yeah, the the speed is pretty comfortable. The seats are actually comfortable. Um, it has heated seats like the Audi did. It, um, i trying to think what else. Both had black leather. Both had pretty good sound systems. Uh, the Audi sound system was more clear. 
and loud. The speed system is more bassy and um, yeah, more bassy. That's all I have to say. It's not it's not much louder. It's actually kind of quiet, but yeah. So um, interior wise, I would pick the speed solely because of how bad. Audi A5 seats are. If anyone has an Audi A5 and um, they try and say they're comfortable, they might be comfortable for a short 10 or 15 minute drive, but if you're in there for longer than an hour, or I don't know, your butt cheeks are not gonna feel good. Um, argue with me on that if you want, but I'm going with the speed interior. I enjoy it better, it's more comfortable, and it's more simple. So yeah, speed interior wins. Um, yep. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm gonna create a category. This category probably doesn't exist, but the annoying factors, okay? The weird factors about the Audi A5 were the fact that you couldn't pop the hood with the door shut. So if you were in a situation where you couldn't get your driver's door open because you were parked somewhere or someone hit you, you can't pop the hood because the way they designed it, the hood uh, thing you pull will hit the door. So it's impossible to open it without opening your door. So that annoyed me. That probably won't annoy a lot of people because most of the time you're not opening a hood, but I I open the hood to do stuff and check on stuff. So yeah, that annoyed me a lot. And another thing that was really strange about the Audis is the fact that the sunroofs only tilted. They couldn't go back. So Audi, explain to me why you put a sunroof on a car. Like wh why even put a sunroof on a car if you can't like it I don't know it just doesn't make sense to me if it makes sense to you someone leave a comment because I think it's stupid um, a lot of people probably agree with me but yeah I don't know why they did that that was two things that annoyed me about the car uh, a lot and the volume button and the seats I think I said that I don't know but uh, yeah so those are some things that annoyed me about the Audi so anyway let's move on to the speed um, I really can't think of anything off the top of my head that annoys me about the speed um, I'm gonna take a minute to think and I'll be right back. Okay, so I would say the most annoying thing about the speed, and I know this is a speed problem. Everyone has this issue. Well, pretty much everyone, unless you live in like a great area. Um, they rust, they rust bad, and um, it's hard to prevent it. But um, yeah, mine's already rusting. And I know pretty much every speed I see in Kansas is already rusted. So that is probably the most annoying thing to me about the speed, and um, yeah, there's I, there's really not much else that I can think of. I mean, maybe that the passenger seat is an electric. I don't know. That's about it for the speed that I can think of that annoyed me. Um, I haven't been driving it enough to actually um, figure out what annoys me because I got to get the tags fixed and I got to get that tune. Okay, so the final thing here is going to be price. Um, what you get versus what you get year versus year. So the Audi, it's gonna run you probably, you can find a good one for like 15,000. Speed, you could probably find a really nice one for like 7,000. Um, the Audi, people are gonna look at it the way it is stock. The speed, no one's gonna look at it unless they know what a speed is, they're not gonna care. Um, Faster stock versus stock. I didn't race them in my head. I imagine the speed is faster just from driving it personally I believe the speed is faster probably not by much stock versus stock. Maybe I could be wrong. I don't know so There's a big price difference. You're gonna pay almost double to get the Audi versus speed, but you know, it's what you want what you're looking for and um, interior wise you need a nice and classy interior, more updated, obviously, just because the year difference. We're talking pretty much double the years, too. Um, speeds, more simple, still looks good. People won't think it's junk. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, so I don't know. I'll let my tallies decide what car is better, in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want me to get an Audi A5, a new one, a different one. Comment below, there's some of you guys around, I know it, I know you're still there, so thanks for sticking around with all these videos. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys wanna see more um, review videos, comparison videos, let me know down in the description. Please send video ideas to my Instagram, Austin B. Burner, and follow me, 
yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe peace out